Hi and welcome to my maths class. In this class we are going to factorize cubes. Now when we are doing this you must remember it is not the same as difference of two squares. Difference of two squares was to the power of 2 whereas in cubes is to the power of 3. So the rules are different you can't use the same rules. When we are doing cubes, the first bracket is always made up of the cube root of the first term. And then our sign and the cube root of the second term. So in this case, it would be A minus B. That was the only part that is similar in difference of two squares. But what happens to the second bracket? You're going to take the first value in the first bracket and you are going to square it. That would give me the first term. Then you would square the second term in the first bracket. And that would give me my last term. Now notice my last term is going to be a positive. Why? Because if I take a negative b and I square it, negative times negative gives me a positive b squared. How do we get the middle term? The middle term we're going to take the two values in the first bracket and we are going to multiply it. But we are always going to change the sign. Which means that I'm going to have plus AB. Let us do another example. 64 p to the power of 6 minus 27. The first step, we're going to cube root the first term and we are going to cube root the second term. Now the cube root of 64 is 4. What is the cube root of p to the power of 6? Now, if you look at our previous videos of exponents, we had discussed that p to the power of 6 is inside over outside. Or, so which will give us p to the power 2. Or, you could have added as p to the power 2, p to the power 2, p to the power 2. Then we group it in 3's which will give us p to the power of 2. So, Going back to the question, 64 is 4, six, p to the power 6 is p to the power 2, the minus, because remember we keep the original sign of the question in the first bracket. The cube root of 27 is 3. So we've got 4 p squared minus 3. That is the first rule. Now how do we get the second bracket? We are going to square the first value which will give us 16 p to the power of 4. Again remember your exponent laws if I square it if I square a number so in other words if I got 4 p squared and I square a number it's 4 squared which is 16 and p 2 times 2 which will give me 4. Then the last term is squaring the second term in the first bracket which will give me positive 9. So this 4p squared creates the 16p to the power 4. This minus 3 creates the 9 in the, the second bracket. The middle term is what we're concerned about. Now how do we get the middle term? We're going to take the first and second term in the first bracket and we're going to multiply it. So we're going to say 4p squared 
times negative 3 which is equal to negative 12 p squared and then we're going to change the sign which will give us positive 12 p squared. Now we've completely factorized 4p squared minus 3 into 16p to the power 4 plus 12p squared plus 9. Thank you for watching.